Hello, and welcome to this demonstration showcasing the capabilities of Seclure Rights Management. This video depicts how Seclure Rights Management helps organizations to protect sensitive information, digital assets, and documents, access protected documents using the browser, and track wherever data travels with persistent granular usage data security controls. In this video, we will also demonstrate how one can revoke access to a document even after it has been downloaded. With the help of Secure Rights Management, organizations can apply persistent granular usage controls to specify who can do what, with the file, when, where, and for how long. The integration enables documents to be automatically protected as they are, discovered by a DLP or CASB solution, classified by employees, downloaded from ECM or other business application, emailed and shared to ensure consistent and rapid adoption. Let's take a look at how Seclure's Enterprise Digital Rights Management works. Let's see how to protect the document with just a right click. Meet John Doe, who is a sales manager at Acme Corporation. John shares a highly confidential document of cost estimates to Mike, his co-worker at Acme, and Sarah, an external consultant. Because this document is highly sensitive, John needs to control what Mike and Sarah can do with the document. When John is done typing the email and attaching the document, he simply clicks the Seclure It button on the Outlook ribbon. John can easily select specific permissions from the menu to control who can do what with the document. John then clicks Send. Now, let's see how Mike, the coworker, and Sarah, the external consultant, access the protected document. Mike has just received a protected email from John. He downloads the attachment to his desktop and opens it. Mike can edit the document and save it based on the permissions John selected. However, when Mike attempts to print the document, he is blocked from performing the action. Next, we'll see how Sarah, the external consultant, can easily access and work on the protected document. Sarah uses her own computer and personal email address. Acme has no control over either of these assets. Sarah starts by opening John's protected cost estimate email and downloads the attachment to her desktop. When Sarah opens the attachment, a message is displayed asking her to click on the link. Sarah doesn't need to create any new ID to access the protected email. Sarah logs in using Google Authentication and the protected file opens in the browser. Sarah didn't have to download an agent making it easy for her to engage in secure external collaboration. Let's get back to John. Now let's see how John tracks his email and views the user's activities using Seclore. To view the usage logs for the file that has been sent to Mike and Sarah, all he has to do is click the track button on the protected email in his sent items. He can then see both authorized activities performed on the document and the unauthorized usage attempts. Here, John can see that both Mike and Sarah have opened the document and that Mike tried to print the document. The print activity is described as unauthorized as John did not grant Mike the permission on the document. John can also modify permissions for the document after it's been shared. To revoke the use of the document, he clicks on the View Permissions icon. Here, John is looking at the permissions he granted to the recipients of his email. John decides that he doesn't want Sarah to access the document anymore. So he clicks the revoke button on the protected email in the sent items and selects Sarah's name. To summarize, Seclure enables both internal and external users to securely collaborate with each other. It's also been designed to help organizations close security gaps automatically without user intervention. And finally, Seclure Rights Management is easy to use, deploy, and manage. To learn more about all of our data-centric security solutions, visit us at seclure.com.